So what uh, now? The, the screen that you're seeing, uh, we will, this session is, uh, as, uh, is, you know, more focused on some of the lenses that we can use uh, with our smartphones. But we will also go through some of the smartphone settings too. The objectives is again, you know, learn to use camera lenses on the smartphone, uh, how to use the lenses, you know, the additional lenses and the clicking great pictures. Uh, besides that, if you have uh, any questions on uh, on this subject, please put that in the chat box. I would be happy to read that out and answer it at the appropriate time. Now, I just a little bit of uh, knowledge uh, check. You know, have you tried using a lens kit? I mean, you know, that's what it is referred to, and uh, very commonly available. Okay, uh, commonly available in uh, uh, for smartphones. Uh, here, you know, the, a little bit of information I would uh, wish to share that, uh, uh, of course, answers can come in, in by yes or no, and uh, I would be happy to, uh, you know, respond to that. Uh, before I move over, you know, into uh, the uh, into uh, the lens kits, I would uh, I have I will be describing some of the standard modes that are already there in a smart in uh, most of the smartphone cameras. Okay, the first of and foremost, of course, being a portrait mode. Okay, uh, I can do this, you know, when I switch on uh, the uh, the uh, uh, the when I switch over the demo from my camera, I will also uh, switch over to, you know, the, the controls of these modes. Uh, what the, in portrait mode, okay, when we choose the portrait mode from our camera, it helps us to click better pictures the, by capturing a sharp foreground. You know, when we say foreground means, you know, the subject or object, you know and a nicely blurred background so that the focus is more on the subject there. And it is a very good, uh, it is the best way to improve on the close-up focus. Okay. If we wish to show, you know, a broad detail, uh, you know, broad uh, image of the thing, not going into details, but into details, there is another mode there. Then we have the panorama mode, of course, not very useful as far as object photography is concerned. This is good if you know if we are looking at uh, a wide range of uh, background or ultra tall photos. More to do on the photography sense, and if there are uh, there is a large landscape. Okay, or uh, to put it uh, in another perspective, if we are indoors and uh, there is. Uh, you know, uh, there is a group that is there, then we can use the panorama mode. This is directly without any lenses. Okay. Then there are sections there, which of course pertain to slow and fast motions. Uh, this is something that is just for fun and the phone does it automatically. Okay. There is a night mode also. Okay. Within a night mode, we, uh, what we do is uh, we click pictures at night or where the lighting is scarce. And there is an HDR mode. Within the HDR mode, we click, pict we click pictures to avoid washed out photos. Washed out in the sense that uh, if, there is a, a, if there is any kind of, a, a, you know, a multiple kind of uh, shades that are there. In order to capture all those shades, we use the HDR mode. Okay. Besides this, there is of course a time lapse. A time lapse is a collection of still images, which is clicked over you know, a period of time to show certain movements there. Okay. Uh, for example, you know, uh, uh, any clouds that are moving, if we are capturing sunset, or any traffic, you know, and those kind of things. Okay. There is a slow motion also, which generally is for uh, either attaching any kind of an emotion to a strip or revealing something big that we that we wish to show in the picture. Okay. 
besides that, we have the macro. This is a great feature. Okay. And uh, there are lenses also for this, uh, which we will explore just now. This is for clicking photos from very close proximity of the subject in order to reveal levels of detail. Okay. Kora, this is a very useful feature. Uh, I mean, uh, specifically, I know that uh, you are a painter and uh, you paint. And, you know, I mean, in painting, uh, with, the, with the little bit of knowledge that I have about painting, uh, there are brush strokes or the way that you color certain uh, regions. Or even on the canvas, there are uh, various types of, uh, you know, layers of paint. Okay. The macro lens, if you use the macro lens, and uh, then you click a picture of that, uh, uh, of a particular area, it will clearly show the brush strokes also. Okay. Which would otherwise not be visible, you know, in, uh, in the general picture. Then besides the macro, we have the expert or the pro mode, a professional mode, where, wherein we can adjust all the settings of the camera and click the pictures there. Okay. This generally is there to control, you know, any kind of uh, 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 white balance or exposure value and shutter speed, as well as manual focus. We need a, quite a bit of practice to use this expert mode. And all these modes are present in, uh, in a camera here. Okay. I will just stop share screen here and uh, log in into my phone. I will start sharing screen from my phone uh, to just uh, show you uh, the, uh, the uh, what we call it, uh, the features that are there, the, all these modes in a smartphone a camera. Okay. So the screen that you're seeing right now, okay, is uh, the screen of my Android device. It is not a very fancy device. Okay, let me tell you this much. It's not a very fancy device. It is uh, an Android 10. And uh, after that, you know, Android 11 has also come. Now 12 is also will be uh, revealed soon. With these versions, cameras get better and better okay now i go into my camera you know into the camera mode here i click it open and uh, when i click it open you see the modes okay first things first especially as far as uh, patent photography is concerned okay one of the things that we can do to make the photographs our own property is Go into the settings of your camera. Okay. The settings of this particular camera is in the horizontal bars that you see on the right hand side. Okay. I tap on that, and when I tap on that, I get the options of uh, settings. Okay. One of the options as settings. I tap on the settings. Okay. And when I tap on the settings, one of the things, you know, the two very, uh, you know, uh, two features which we should be aware of. Number one, there are times, you know, or uh, probably uh, what I would also look, look at is uh, that the, ha you know, any individual in a normal camera settings, what happens is that uh, we need to click on the shutter, on the shutter uh, button, which is on the screen, which is, uh, say, uh, this uh, round circle. Okay. This round circle is the camera button. And we tap on that, okay, and we click a picture, okay, normally. Now, when we go into settings, there is another place also, okay. There is another place also from where, from where we can change the settings of this camera button. If I go into settings, okay, as uh, you will see, there is the first option there, okay, volume button. We can also use the volume button to click a picture. Okay. There are times, you know, when we are focusing, 
and uh, like for example if i am focusing like this okay it makes it takes a lot of uh, you know a uh, uh, manipulation on the ads to kind of get to you know that point and click so we have the option if i just uh, click on uh, the shutter on the volume button okay which is at the side as i click it you know the picture gets clicked okay. so we have that option and as we do it you know at the picture gets clicked there the second thing that is there within the settings is the option of writing the author's name okay when you know when we go into settings again in the camera sorry for uh, uh, the you know uh, the thing when again i go into settings okay within settings i have the option okay of you know uh, of uh, uh, what we call it uh, number one is uh, watermark okay secondly you know when i tap on a watermark okay it gives me two options phone model i don't want that i don't want to uh, you know change the phone I, I i can change that but if i switch that off switching it on enables me to write my name okay that uh, if i write my name as uh, raju okay and i click on okay what happens after that is that for every picture that i click okay for every picture that i click let me just click a picture you know as it is now i click this picture and let me show it to you if you see at uh, at the base there okay it says ai quad camera shot by raju okay a unique way by which we can add a little bit of uh, proprietary to a picture that uh, the name unfortunately we cannot remove the uh, the name of the camera in some cameras it does allow in some cameras it does not allow okay again within settings okay there is uh, one of the settings there there are individuals who prefer to keep their photos very secret especially business photos okay then in that case one of the things that we can do is not i repeat not to upload them in the google photos or apple photos or whichever uh, location that we normally save the photos so what we can do is we have the option of save to sd card okay when we tap on this okay they will not be saved to any of the synced clouds okay they will, i repeat again they will not be saved to the cloud there okay so the you know are uh, then in that case the pictures are on the on the sd card and we can you know after that uh, we can take out the pictures and uh, do whatever we wish to do from there okay so this was in general you know the settings what we can change in the settings now on this camera itself you know the first one if we are clicking pictures at night this is the night mode okay night mode in the sense let me try and see if i switch off okay now you see i have switched off the light and it's uh, decently dark here okay but the quality of the picture it does not change much okay? because the night mode is on i switch on the light and you see uh you know uh, you, if you can see the shadows you know they start popping up there the second of course is the video mode here third is a general photo okay general photo you know uh, we can click at any most of the time by default it is our general okay and when clicking any kind of a picture you know the what those circles that you are seeing okay, these circles are the focus points of the camera the camera is focusing on those particular areas right okay. so if i like for example if i want uh, the focus to be more on the laptop screen that you're seeing i will tap there okay 
and what will happen? The focus will shift there and the picture will be clipped. Another way, another tip when clicking on by using smartphone cameras. We set the focus by tapping on. Now, if I want the focus to be on my face, I, the yellow box that uh, shines up there. If it does, fine. If not, I just tap on that. Okay. It will focus on that. And, you know, if I see, of course, uh, you know, this is not professional photography, but my facial features would be more clear in this. And in the second one, in the first one, of course, I was uh, focusing on uh, the computer, the laptop. So the laptop gets more clearer. The other thing you know, uh, that we see here is portrait mode. Portrait mode is again for close-up photography. Now you see, when I was, the distance remaining the same, okay, distance remaining the same, I'm in the photo mode right now. Okay, As soon as I switch over to the portrait mode, you see it starts capturing a bigger area with a background but that background is more blurred. If I point this, if I point this to an object, if I point it to an object, you see whichever object that I am pointing it to, it will increase the you know uh, the uh, the focus on that subject. Okay. Then we have the more and in more. You know, we have the ultra macro and the expert and, you know, those modes. Not very much required except for, like, you know, when we go into ultra macro. Okay. Now, when I go into ultra macro, you would see that, uh, you know, the picture gets blurred. Because ultra macro literally means focusing it to a distance of, uh, you know, five to eight a centim you know, a millimeters as such. Now, if you can see, I am focusing it on, you know, some of the dirt specks that are there on the laptop. Okay. You can see that there. This is what macro does, ultra macro does. So if you're taking a picture which needs a very clean or uh, which needs more details to be captured, then we use the ultra macro. And all these are there within a, no a normal you know, uh, within a normal camera itself. Now, coming over, let me, uh, uh, let me, you know, uh, disconnect uh, from uh, here and uh, move over uh, to, okay, uh, questions, if any, you can ask me or uh, put me in a, put them in the chat box and I would respond to them. Now, uh, this, uh, here, uh, uh, basic information we shared about the camera. Okay, the a normal phone's camera. Now, looking at uh, lenses. Okay, lenses is something that we add on to the existing camera lenses that are available. Okay. Say about two to three years back, these lenses had great value because then the cell phone camera was not very much advanced. If we look at older versions of cell phone cameras, there was just one camera lens. Okay. Now, at an average, we get at least two or three camera lenses there. Within, you know, when they added, started adding multiple lenses, these lenses work in combination and, you know, they are automatically programmed to switch from one section to the other for clicking pictures there. So cell phone photography, that has resulted in cell phone photography gaining a lot of, uh, you know, uh, a lot of uh, quality over what it used to be previously. But nevertheless, having said that, there are still, you know, we cannot compare a cell phone camera to a full-fledged, you know, uh, full-fledged separate DSLR or a point and shoot. I mean, those, they are specific, those machines are specifically designed for that. But having said that, within 
with a cell phone also, we can attach lenses. And for some of them, before going in for lenses, please read reviews. Please read reviews. Because, like I said, you know, those lenses, the lenses for good are good for the base cameras. As, you know, the cameras have improved, we need to find out. To, uh, we need to do our research to get to the exact lens there. Now, sharing some information from my slide deck again and uh, talking about uh, some of the popular lens kits that are available. As a matter of fact, I have this uh, same lens kit and I will uh, be sharing information. I will be when doing the next demo on that kit itself. So moving back, uh, you know, uh, one of, uh, or rather a couple of uh, popular lenses, you know, that are available. They are available individually also, and at the same time, you know, there are uh, compact cases also, or, you know, kits are available. Now, these kits, let me tell you, they are suitable for both. In the cell phone, we have, uh, you know, two cameras, front facing or the selfie camera, as we call it, and the rear camera. These lenses are suitable for both back or front cam facing cameras. Okay. And this is a one of, uh, this is a, you know, the eight in one lens kit that uh, is pretty popular. And, uh, you know, uh, it has a lot of, uh, it has eight lenses within this kit. Those lenses, the inclusions of this entire kit are, you know, lenses. There are eight of them. Okay. There are eight lenses here. And, there is one clip. If you can see the image, you know, uh, the picture, the one on the right hand side, you know, where adcom is written, that is the clip here. Okay. And the lenses, these round circles, you know, that you see, these are the different lenses that are there. Okay. All these lenses have caps. Okay. We will uh, also explore that when I when I show you the physically show you the box. Uh, sorry, virtually show you uh, the box there. Okay, and there is a travel bag. You know this case that is there. That is the travel bag. There is a cleaning cloth within this, and instruction card as well as a warranty card. These are the components of a lens kit. Now going into details about uh, the next, you know, how do we mount these, okay? The mounting is, you know, the clip, on the clip we mount the lens here, okay? And this clip is just like, you know, the clip on, uh, we get those paper clips, there are two sides of the clip, the lens portion is towards, is uh, mounted on the camera side, and, you know, the main camera lens, if we have multiple camera, uh, you know, if we have multiple camera uh, lenses, we have to mount this on the main camera lens there. And it's very safe because there are silicon pads in there and they do not scratch the lens there. Okay. Now, the, the kind of lenses that are there and uh, the difference that it makes. These are some of, uh, you know, there is uh, in this uh, lens box, there is a 0.63 wide lens. Okay. And there is a macro lens. What it does is, okay, the background, if you see the, the picture where it says before, okay, the in between the before and the after, you'll see, you know, on the extreme left hand side, the image of two individuals is not there if the lens was, uh, when the lens was not used. Okay. So it's a wide, it captures a wider background. Okay. Besides that, and when we use a super wide lens, we use it together with a macro lens. Okay. We will, uh, I will show you these, all these lenses when I go into the demo. 
So very useful if, uh, uh, for example, you know, <clears throat> Yeah, our uh, our colleague Koraji, if she is uh, uh, if she has a complete wall where there are uh, paintings there, okay, and she wishes to capture the entire background, use a wide angle lens. Use this wide, you know, range, wide lens as it is, and you know, not to zoom in, zoom out. One of the advantages of using these lenses is. We don't need to zoom in or zoom out. It will capture things on its own. Besides that, we have a telephoto lens. A telephoto lens is very good for portrait photography. Single clips, if we need to take, you know, we use the telephoto lens. And we attach this, all these lenses, for all these lenses, this clip is one only. And we just rotate the lens to, you know, remove it or, you know, put it back. All these, this screw portion, this third, you know, these threads, with these threads, these uh, lenses are attached to the clip. Now, from here, you know, we change that lens and uh, we place the, you know, the uh, telephoto lens. And if you can see at a height, this individual on the left-hand side, we can barely manage to see it. But here it gets closer. More the power, this telephoto lens is of a regular power. Okay. We get higher lenses also, you know, which have a, a 30x, I mean, up to 30x, 40x zoom. But those are bigger ones. And we need to be, you know, uh, we need to be very stationary or place the camera and the lens on a stand to click those pictures. Uh, I do have that, but uh, I have not uh, you know, included that in, uh, in this uh, session. Okay. Then we have a fish eye lens. Okay. What the fish eye lens does is that uh, the left image that you see on the left hand side, you know, it is a normal lens. Okay. And if we need to add any kind of a creativity, what it does is it adds this kind of look there. Okay. And when we click a picture, something that we see normally on the left-hand side, the left picture is without the thing, it becomes something like this. Okay. It's an eye attraction. This is what they call it, you know, as a fish. That's, the, that's why the name is a fish eye. Because as a fish sees, the picture is converted to that configuration itself. Okay. Then we have the macro lens. Okay. This lens is separate. This is separate from the first one, from the combination of the two that I showed you first. Using a macro lens, you know, uh, this is used at this kind of a distance. And we get in the before on the left hand side, if you see the image there, the, those water drops, you know, our droplets are very faintly visible. But when we go into the macro mode, bring it up all that close, we see all these details here. Okay. So if there is any kind of a, a you know, subject, especially when it uh, pertains to any art, any craft, or uh, even, you know, the close-up of uh, uh, the absolute details of an image. We use these, this lens for photography. Okay. Then uh, there is uh, another lens, you know, which is known as the kaleidoscope. Okay. The kaleidoscope is, again, it converts one image into, you know, a very fancy image, as we see on the right-hand side. And you know this was one image. It, uh, it, the name, this, the name itself suggests the final outcome. Okay. After that, we have the starburst lens. Okay. Here, you know the the image that is there on the uh, it's the other way on the right hand side. It gets converted into what the image is there on the left hand side. 
to give it more kind of a emphasis, give it more kind of a drama there. Right? And we have, besides that, there is a polarizer filter. What it does is it boosts the color and contrast in images. Left is before, right is afterwards, after we use these lenses here. And uh, now I will again uh, sh uh, uh, share screen from my Android device and uh, you know uh, show you uh, the uh, the first things first. Let me uh, use my second camera to show you uh, the lens kit as such. So uh, just give me a moment while I uh, take off the uh, second camera get it on and uh, switch mode. Okay. Uh, then. Yes. Now, uh, the if, uh, let me remove my background, otherwise, uh, you know, I will not be uh, clear. Okay, just give me a moment. Okay. Now, uh, what uh, I wanted to show you is uh, this, as you see, is uh, the you know is the product. Okay, the same product that uh, that I shared, information of which I shared uh, from my, uh, the presentation. And it, in this clip, the easy thing is that if we are traveling, there is a clip behind. Okay. We can clip it to, you know, anywhere if we want it, you know, uh, outside and always available uh, for easy access. The, as we open this kit, okay, this is what it looks like. Okay. When we buy this product, this is what it looks like. All the one on the left-hand side, you know, uh, the, sorry, on the right-hand side, this is the clip. Okay. We open it we extract it and it's just like a paper clip, okay. just like a paper clip. We press the top portion and uh, we just uh, slide it on the camera. We'll be doing that soon. Okay. On this, in this, you know, uh, in this kit, uh, there are eight lenses. Okay. Each lens comes with a cover. Okay. This is the lens cover as such. Okay. And the lens is uh, attached. Now, there are two lenses currently attached to this. Okay. In the sense that uh, if we see, and all the lenses, okay, they have their names written on them. Okay. If you see, it's, uh, it gives me you know, the names there. They are marked. It's not that we, can, we get confused with that. They are all marked there. Okay. And you know, those, there are two of them there, and uh, let's pull out uh, the other one, other ones also, and uh, keep them on the desk. Okay. Let me pull them out and uh, place them on the desk. Just give me a moment. Sorry about that, uh, but then being a demo session, it does, you know, uh, it does require a little bit of patience there. Now, these are the lenses there, okay. Now, from uh, these lenses, okay, uh, from these lenses, uh, what we do, uh, I will now uh, switch off uh, the uh, second camera and I will mount one of these lenses on the camera. Just give me a moment while I I switch off from here and uh, get back into you know into the normal thing. Okay, video settings. I get into background. GSU. There I am. And uh, my USB device.
now uh, I'm, I will be sharing screen uh, from my phone. Okay. And uh, as, uh, as uh, you see, uh, this is my uh, phone and uh, I switch on the camera. When I switch on the uh, switch on uh, you know uh, the camera from here, uh, what uh, I will be doing is I will be mounting the lens, and in order to mount the lens, uh, what uh, we do is uh, I take this clip, okay, this clip facing this way, and just mount it. Okay, my camera, if you uh, my phone, if you see, it has uh, four. Okay, it's a quad-com camera. It has four lenses there. But the main lens is the one, not the first one, but the second one. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to slide it and I need to clip it. And when it comes to the exact place over the lens, I will uh, get into you know something like this. Now just see the difference. Of course, uh, you know it's not all that bright and uh, uh, not the uh, most appropriate place to click pictures. But I have added what the lens okay. and what you are seeing, the image that you are seeing on uh, my phone screen is with the lens on. If I take it off, okay. if I take it off. The, we get only this picture. Okay. Uh, can you notice? Uh, uh, did you notice the change in the uh, in the picture there, Adam? Or uh, anybody can answer uh, now? So the picture is of you or of the screen? No, so you're on going the off to the side. Uh, onto the side, onto what you're you seeing. Are, you are moving to the side. I can I can't see you on the screen. I mean, uh, on the laptop. No. Uh, on. Can you see the shared screen now? Yeah, I can. Okay. Now on this, I mount the lens. Is there a difference in uh, the depth it's, of the picture? It's blurred, sir. It's blurred, but the area that you see is blurred. Yeah, it, area, area is much wider. Yeah, uh, blurred it will be because uh, it's not the appropriate uh, light, uh, you know, situations okay. here. That's why. But I'm just showing you the range of the lens that uh, that is there. And besides that, uh, there must be a fingerprint on uh, one of the lenses that I'm using. Okay. So, but then the area. Okay, now you're saying. Yeah, now the, the position of the lens. Now, is there a difference between the last blur and this one? This is clearer. Yeah, so we got to do the settings, you know. I'm just doing, uh, I mean, uh, doing the exact thing is, but to take a decent bit of time. So this was, this lens <coughs> that I used, okay, is the, you know, uh, this is a combination of the wide as well as the macro, okay. And when we use this, like uh, in a wide, they say that, you know, the area, uh, it becomes more. Okay. Now, similarly, okay, uh, what uh, I will do is uh, just show you from here, uh, from the camera, uh, I will replace the lens. Okay. Just let me uh, blur my, uh, get my background off so that uh, you can see it, things clearly. Now, this lens, okay, what I need to do is, uh, it's, they are very easy. This circular portion that is there in the front, I just uh, move it off. Okay. I just turn it, and when I turn it, you know, this lens gets detached. Okay. This lens gets detached. And after this, I can mount any of uh, the lenses that are, that are there. Now, the, one of the next lens that uh, I will be using is a fish eye lens. Okay. Just mounted it, you know, just replaced. This was the original one. I just replaced it with this lens. And again, 
mounting it back onto the camera. Okay, mounting it back. Now, what you're seeing right now, okay, is uh, this, uh, what you will see. If I were to click a picture from uh, this, uh, uh, from, you know, currently, it would be something like this. Okay. But as soon as I mount the lens, okay, let me go back a bit. As soon as I mount the lens, sorry about that, it requires a little bit of deftness. Yeah, it uh, it takes those circular corners and gives a, a, a what we call it a, a convex kind of a look there. Okay. So this is a is the fish eye, and I will also show you pictures, other pictures that I have on my camera uh, using these lenses that are that uh, that are there. Okay. The best amongst them. Okay. Uh, is uh, which is uh, very you know uh, which is uh, pretty good is uh, again let me get that lens out and uh, fix that macro lens yeah just give me a moment. Okay, now uh, this lens, okay. uh, this is the uh, mag macro lens that is there. Okay. And with a macro lens, if we go into details, okay, if you see, you know, if you see this lens cover, okay, uh, if you see the lens cover, as I bring it closer, you know, it, we can see all the details that are there. So, when with the, the closer that we bring, you know, the uh, the subject through this lens, if I if I were to uh, click this picture, okay, uh, just uh, let me go into you know the photo mode. Yeah, if I if I were to come closer, you know, you see more of uh, the uh, more of the clarity of the problem which otherwise is not visible. I, if I use it on, uh, you know, yeah. So what about the inbuilt macro? Is it as powerful? Uh, no, uh, depending on the phone that you have, uh, which phone are you using? I have an iPhone, sir. Uh, iPhone macro is definitely better. It's yeah, iPhone uh, iPhone macro is better and uh, if you're looking at uh, uh, getting uh, lenses for uh, an iPhone uh, I would suggest uh, I mean from the reviews that I have read uh, not many lenses suit uh, the iPhone okay. because these yeah, are by, by itself the pictures are very are very nice yes it's very clear yes uh, iPhone uh, of course uh, no comparison of the quality of an iPhone you know uh, as far as pictures are concerned. Uh, so uh, if, if in case, you know, uh, until and, uh, there are certain lenses, uh, I have, of course, I, I ju I've just read the reviews, uh, not gone into, you know, uh, using them. Uh, but then number one, of course, like anything that is made for iPhones is definitely more expensive. Uh, some uh, a, a kit which was there on Amazon just for iPhones, uh, was if I'm not mistaken about uh, 19 or 20,000 rupees okay. and that too just two lenses there so uh, that in its own self is uh, definitely uh, uh, taxing a fair okay. now this uh, now you see uh, this is uh, you know the macro lens if, if I click on uh, 
you know, this picture, the, the details there would be much more. We can see even up to the watermarks that are there. So similarly, you know, we, uh, I do have in, uh, in my, uh, this thing, in, in, in the collection of uh, pictures that I have, I have a few pictures which I collect, which I clicked outside. And uh, just sharing those uh, with you uh, to uh, uh, to uh, kind of uh, to show you more. Now uh, the image that you're seeing right now, uh, you know, uh, this was uh, using uh, the uh, the zoom lens, okay. and uh, what uh, I mean uh, from the camera alone without the lens or the wide angle one. Okay. And when I use the wide angle, okay, this was the result that we got. Okay. Uh, the background increases. Similarly, you know, I used uh, the starburst. Okay. Now, this was the effect after I used the lens. Okay. And uh, if you can see, you know, those uh, stars, you get those effects there. And whereas, the, the original one, you know, the, the one without uh, the lens is this picture. Okay. There is, uh, uh, the lens was not used here. Uh, similarly, I mean, in this one, it was not used. Now, all these pictures, it wasn't used. But as soon as I clicked on the lens, uh, we can change, uh, we, uh, we got, uh, we get this effect. And the thing is, these, uh, these uh, lines that come up, okay, these uh, rays that come up, we can change the direction of that using, you know, the lens, uh, just by turning off the uh, the, uh, the the ring on the lens itself. Okay. So, uh, but yes, like uh, I said, especially if you have an iPhone, uh, no, I would uh, not suggest uh, going in for uh, any of uh, the lenses uh, that are there. Uh, because an iPhone in its own self, uh, the camera is great. Even in uh, in the high-end cameras that are there, okay, uh, or uh, the high-end cameras that are there, uh, these uh, lenses do not uh, do not work that great on uh, the smartphone lenses on the smartphone cameras. Yes, if we have the previous uh, single uh, lens uh, phones. It definitely works much better on those phones uh, as such. Besides that, uh, videography can also be done, you know, uh, using these lenses. It's not that because whatever is there on the screen, it uh, captures that also. 